What's up guys, welcome back to Stoffer Garage. Today's detail is of the dreaded minivan. We've done this one before and sometimes I detail other cars before I detail mine. And let me show you why this is a problem. I have a few stains in the headliner that I'm gonna be taking care of. We have some stains definitely on the carpet, but I'm gonna show you guys all of those steps and all those different tricks to get all of those things out and get your car clean as well. And if you guys like these sort of videos and you guys enjoy these tips, make sure you support my channel by hitting the subscribe button below and turning on notifications. It means the world to me. It makes this channel possible. So make sure you guys hit that button. Let's get started. All right, so for today, I actually decided to bring the car into the garage because of lighting being more consistent and it gives me a little bit cooler of an environment to work on because it was pretty hot in Ohio today. But as you guys can see, with five kids and everything that we got going on, my car gets dirty. I'm admitting it, do as I say, not as I do. Perfect example of that, but there's tons of stuff in the car. We have chicken nuggets, we have all the kids stuff that they bring into the car, that they leave in the car. Honestly, you know what? Sometimes you just have to let certain things go. And as they get older, I'm definitely trying to work with them on keeping things clean. But I'm also guilty of it myself. Sometimes I'm just in a rush with a newborn and everybody else. Just I leave some stuff in the car and I don't get to it. Hate on me below. I really don't mind. It's all good. It happens. And I'm all about being transparent. Here is my minivan that needs some cleaning. And before I start removing everything out of the car, I like to at least prep my steam cleaner, get it filled up with water, get it heating up, because usually that can take about 20 to 30 minutes to do. So while I'm pulling all of the trash out of the car, getting everything out off the floor mats, I've got my steam cleaner warming up. I also try to remove anything that is larger than my shop vac or something that might get clogged like sticks or something like that. Try to get those out now before you get into vacuuming because that way you don't have to worry about your shop vac or vacuum cleaner getting clogged. One thing that is like the saving grace for my minivan and anybody that has kids, I've said it before, definitely look into some weather tech or some rubber floor mats. These are actually specifically made by Honda for the Odyssey that are rubber. They definitely help save the carpet and collect a lot of that dirt and debris and staining where the kids' feet will be or where typically spills will happen. I am removing the car seats and I am gonna be cleaning those separately. I am not gonna be showing that in this video. Typically there are different instructions on how to clean car seats provided by the manufacturer, so I'm not gonna go into those details. But if you have car seats that need to be cleaned, definitely check out those manuals on the proper way to clean those. I think the best part for me about a minivan is that it does give you access to pretty much the entire interior of the car. The seats all fold down, they all come out. It just gives you access to everything so you really cannot miss a spot and it's super easy to keep clean even though it gets dirty quickly with kids. But it So once I've gotten everything big out of the car, I've gotten the car seats out, I'm definitely gonna be using the shop vac to get all of the debris out of the car. And to be honest, like I've said before, vacuuming is probably about 80% of any job. It is probably the easiest thing that you can do to instantly spruce up and make your car look 10 times better. So I highly recommend doing the vacuuming first. It gives you a better idea of the stains and the additional work that you have to do on the detail. If 
If you do not have a shop vac, it is something that I recommend, which you can see here definitely comes in handy. If you have cup holders like me, where my kids decided that they wanted to do a science experiment in, you can use your shop vac just to suck up the wet liquid as well. So that way you're not using towels, getting your hand in there. It just, it makes your life so much easier to be honest, to have a shop vac that's a wet dry vac. I also like to use the vacuum to get into the seat crevices on these leather seats, get into all your door panels, get into the dash where there's some light dusting. You're obviously not going to be scraping your vacuum across the surface, but if you have some dust collected like you saw in the initial B-roll, it does help get some of that dust just kind of sucked up initially so that way you have less to do. When vacuuming up carpet, if you do have dog hair, if you have like twigs or like straw in my case, that's the little brown things that you see, using your shop vac and actually angling it at an angle and not having it completely sealed to the surface, as you drag it along and kind of scrape at it with your vac, you'll actually be able to extract 99% of it without having a specialty brush. Now that the vacuuming's done, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the floor mats now. I'm doing that so that way they can sit out in the sun and dry out while the rest of the detail takes place. I'm using just an all-purpose cleaner that's diluted 10 to one, and I'm using my drill brush to agitate and scrub the floor mats themselves. It makes it so much easier just to hit them once with one pass and then use your pressure washer or rinse them off. One thing I made sure of to do before I did this detail was to actually spray off the driveway. I didn't have the cleanest working surface before that, so spraying them off allowed me to make sure that I wasn't actually getting dirt on the undersides of the floor mats. And this is the interior panel that's on the back where my three oldest children sit that gets the dirtiest. But after we get done with this one, we're gonna be jumping into cleaning the headliner. So for the headliner guys, what we're gonna be doing first is I'm gonna show you how to use the steam cleaner to get these stains off. I'm kinda of gonna break them off in half here for the all-purpose cleaner and then for the steam cleaner and show you guys the differences between both processes and how to do it. Clean white terry cloth towels, they're not microfiber. They're really good for this sort of thing because if you do have any color transfer and you're really stain sensitive on this part, definitely use one of these instead. So you can see here that this is still drying, but all the stains are removed pretty quickly with the steam cleaner. These ones right here, I'm gonna use the all-purpose cleaner to show you guys how this one works as well. Now for the all-purpose cleaner, this is the same stuff that I was using out there on the floor mats. I use it for everything most of the time. It's just water and the all-purpose cleaner diluted, so 10 to one ratio. So 10 parts water, one part solution. Um, you can pick it up pretty much anywhere. There's LA's Totally Awesome, there's Simple Green, there's you know Chemical Guys, Adams, like everybody makes an all-purpose cleaner. Any of them typically work pretty much the same, um, but definitely dilute them because you don't need that strong of a detergent, especially for something like this. The other thing that you'll need are these bristle brushes. These are the ones that I use. They are pretty slick. If you guys want to check them out, I'll have them in the description box below. Um, I like them too because they're extra soft um, and we're just gonna use it to kind of agitate the surface. So you guys can see here that the headliner is completely spot free now and both methods will get you to the same results. So if you guys don't have a steam cleaner, know that the all purpose cleaner works as well. But the steam cleaner, in my opinion, is the easiest method. It's the less amount of liquid that you put on. You're just using water instead of a chemical and all you're doing is dabbing it clean. So in my opinion, the steam cleaner is a better option. But if you don't have one, 
this is another way that you could do it as well. So now that the car seats are removed, I showed you guys earlier the different stains and the gunk that collect underneath them. So in this case, I'm not using Alexol to kind of condition the seats and clean them. I'm actually using my all-purpose cleaner and my bristle brush to kind of agitate and get those harder spots lifted and get those cleaned up first. Now that the seats are clean, I'm gonna move directly into the cup holders that are around those seats, which are the dirtiest portions of the vehicle. You can see here, this is actually blue ice cream. This is I don't know what, but with the bristle brush, the all-purpose cleaner, and then these microfiber towels that I've been loving lately, and I will have those linked below as well if you guys are interested. Now that the rear is done, I'm going to move to the dashboard, which this brush and this towel and the all-purpose cleaner is definitely like just the go-to components to clean this up. It comes in handy for all the different little detailing and all those different cracks and the air vents to get that dust lifted off and get those cleaned. One thing to keep into consideration when you're detailing the steering wheel or any of the dash components, try to articulate the buttons and all the different controls in the steering wheel column and all the different possible positions. So that way you can make sure you don't miss any spots. One thing with these speaker vents, and this is pretty much on any newer car because they are just plastic, make sure you use your brush to kind of poke at the surface. It gets into those different holes and if there's any stuff that's collected in those areas, it allows you to remove them. On the carpet here, I'm actually removing some slime that's been on the surface and some other like gummish type substances. The steam cleaner really does a good job with kind of heating up and then blowing off those materials from it, which you can see here, those white little speckle spots. The best part about a steam cleaner too is that if you have anything that's kind of gummed up in the cup holders or in these different seat brackets, because it is steam and it's so hot it actually kills any bacteria or germs. Now that I've done the steam cleaner to remove any of that gum or gunk that's been on the surface in the center walkway area, it is now time to use my drill brush to agitate the carpet, get that dirt lifted, and then using my extractor to clean the carpet. Because this one center channel is different sizes, I actually have multiple different sized drill brushes to get into those tighter to reach spots. And after doing two passes with the extractor, it did a really good job at removing any of the dirt on these carpets. Now that the carpets are done, I'm using the Chemical Guy Silk Shine to coat the interior, which is a UV protectant, but also gives it that nice, bright finish that I like to see. And you can also see here that I clean the windows as well.
These little foam brushes do a really good job at getting into those different lines and different creases of your panels, along with the air vents to make sure that they're coated with the UV protectant as well. Now for the different screens of the car, I'm actually just using a clean microfiber towel that is wet with water to clean the surface and then flipping it over for the dry side to buff them off. Now after I finished the last windows in the back, it is now time to clean those captain seats that you guys saw with that blue ice cream or goo, whatever was on it. I'm just using my all purpose cleaner and then I'm following up with the Chemical Guys Silk and Shine as the protectant. I feel this works really well for leather seats that aren't cracked or destroyed yet, and the Silk Shine actually does a pretty good job at moisturizing them and keeping them soft. After the seats are done, it is now time to start reassembling the vehicle. So I'm gonna put all the floor mats back in, put in the rubber trim pieces, and put in the captain seats. And here are the after shots of the car. It turned out really, really well. And I want you guys to know that this same detail, you guys can replicate it with the same products. I have them all listed in the description box below. Your car probably doesn't look as bad as mine, so I can guarantee you can get it done for under three hours. That is a wrap, guys. Today's video is done. It turned out amazing, and I'm hoping it lasts a whopping 10 minutes or more, but probably not. It's worth it car is clean. I'll enjoy it for the next 10 minutes or so by myself with my minivan. And if you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. Because of all of you that do subscribe, this channel is even possible that I can get that car to get Roach Motel. So thank you guys so much for all of the support. Leave a comment below of what you guys want to see next and give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.